Since that had United, they want to stop for everything Manchester United. This is the latest news concerning the club this evening as we have the latest updates concerning the sale of Manchester United. Do leave a like on this video if you enjoyed this content. Leave a comment in the comment section and let's get straight to everything. Eron Bissaka has supposedly been told he can search for a new club this summer. Boy Insider makes the claim that Erwin Hag prefers Diogo Dalo and makes report that Ben Leverkusen right back Jeremy Frimpong could be inbound. The article claims his arrival would trigger the exit of Wambisaka, who was brought for 50 million in 2019. Like I said in the previous video, I don't think Wambisaka should be allowed to leave anymore. He is very okay and could be the second choice, who could also step up to be the first choice right back at Manchester United for next season. So I don't know why we are still going for Jeremy Frimpong, but it's all up to everything hard. Because if Jeremy Frimpong is a real deal, and it looks like he's a real deal, because Fabio Romano have reported it multiple times that. Uh, Manchester United are really, really interested in him. So if that happens, it just means for Misaka will be the one to leave because Diogo Dalo is negotiating a new deal with the club. Eric Tanak wants him to stay. So the um Misaka will have to be the guy who has to leave. So Jeremy Frimpong, I've watched his highlight. I've seen him play. He's way more attacking than even Dalo. So I don't know how to be well with it. There's not going to be any balance because... Wambisaka is very, very defensive compared to Dalo. Dalo is more attacking than him. But even um, recently, we're seeing um, Wambisaka trying to improve his attacking skills. But still, Jeremy Frimpong is very, very attacking. So I, I don't think there will be a balance in the, in the right back situation. It's all up to Ter Eric Ter Hag. He's the manager. He, he has to do what he wants. And if he wants to bring in a new right back, so be it. I wish Wambisaka well if he leaves the club. But I still feel that we can manage or can do very well with Diogo Dalo and Aaron Bissaka together at the right-back position. The same way we are doing very, very okay with Luke Shaw and um, Malaysia. That is the best position we are able by. If Shaw doesn't step up, if Shaw doesn't play well, Malaysia can step up any time to replace Shaw and do a good job there. So that's what is happening. That what can happen at the right-back if we have um, Aaron Bissaka and Dalu next season. So if um, Frimpong is the option, then we have to give him what he wants. The third one of bidding, Will take place between prospective buyers by the end of the month. There are reportedly seven prospective ownership groups and have all apparently received feedback from the group following their submitted bids to acquire the club made last month. Of course, we know that the main players in this bidding process is Sajan Ratcliffe and um, the Qatar group, um, headed by um, Sheikh Atani. There is no that the seven people we are talking about, most of them are major, uh, maybe minority or the ones people are not taking serious. But we know that the main players in this. In the takeover of Manchester United is the Qatar group and El Tani. So we'll be hoping that both um, parties make their bid um, to the Glazers or to the Ring group very, very soon. It's expected that by the end of the month. So they have at, at, at least two and a half, three weeks to put in um, their third bid. It should be around six billion because the last bid they made was around five billion. And the Glazers would not sell the club for anything less than six billion. And the Glazers are are um, purposely slowing down the bidding process because they kept quiet for close to a week and now they are making their intentions clear that the deadline is to the end of the month so no, we are not going to get any real concrete progress like people like um, there is not going to be a next level until the beginning of May whereby when they have submitted their bid then whichever one is favorable to them they pick the person and move on to the next process, maybe. But them giving a two-week deadline is too much, and it means that nothing will be done till the end of the month, which is very, very annoying, actually. Eric Ten Hag might be a developmental coach, but not every player is going to get a chance under him because he's only going to play you if he feels that you are better or you are playing better than what he already has in his squad. But it's good to see that some of them are really, really doing well because Ahmad has been shortlisted for the Championship Young Player of the Year after excelling on loan at Sunderland this season. Dwinga has made 32 appearances across the league campaign, scoring 11 goals and assisting on that two. And it's very, very good to see because after the World Cup, he has been on very, very good form, scoring in almost every game. But it's good to see because we, we still need that competition for Anthony at the left wing, uh, sorry, at the right wing. And Anthony, and Ahmad maybe can give Anthony a run for his money because Ahmad also is also left-footed. So if he, if he comes back to the... Um, to the team, maybe during preseason, and does very well. It would be really nice to see him um, battling that position with Anthony throughout next season. But it's all, it all comes down to him and how he has improved.